Okay, this is just going to be a quick update on a project I've been uh, kind of working on for a little while now, just now and again. As part of, uh, I guess, along the whole kind of home automation line, I've been looking to try and use, um, uh, kind of trying to set up a, a central hub, a device which will act as the, the kind of middleman for controlling different things, and it can then communicate out to other systems. And so a few, a few months back, probably a while ago now, I received the Spark Core device, which is this one in here. It's uh, it's kind of like an Arduino, but with uh, a wireless device attached. And it seemed all right, but the documentation was really limiting. It wasn't great. It didn't seem particularly useful when it turned up, at least not at the time. So I put it in a drawer, I haven't really touched it since. Then, not so long ago, the Esprino board turned up. And this is um, this is basically JavaScript, uh, kind of a writing JavaScript to run on a microcontroller, which I thought was really kind of a nice idea. And the board is, uh, I think, I've, as I mentioned in another video, it's it's nice. It's got a kind of prototyping area, possibly not the best of layouts in terms of expanding, but it works well. It's got a, a kind of a pad for a Bluetooth uh, serial module. And that makes uh, kind of talking to this and programming it really easily. And um, this can just be powered up somewhere else, and I can connect to our serial connection and program and update it. It's also got kind of libraries and support for wireless internet connection, same as that one. But it came with uh, two of these uh, um, kind of uh, short-range kind of wireless modules. I think this is the, the NRF uh, 24L01, I think. It's fairly standard, a very, very cheap device, and it's great for kind of integrating with. The, so this came with two of these, with the idea you can kind of set it up to talk between it. I mean, I didn't want to do that, I ideally wanted a kind of cheap Arduino hardware, just a microcontroller with one of these, maybe collecting sensor data or responding to an input. And so I set about uh, with uh, this other half over here. Uh, this is just a basic kind of Arduino kind of Atmel chip in here hooked up to the other counterparts and uh, kind of munching through serial connection. And I spent several days trying to get that to work and had absolutely no luck. The, there's a fantastic library that someone's written for uh, the uh, kind of the, the Arduino environment. Um, let's check the name of that one. Yeah, it's just RF24 and it's a brilliant fully featured library. On the other hand, the one for this is uh, is bare bones. It does the, the absolute minimum to get it to work, and I couldn't get the two to communicate. Uh, I kind of dug, kind of dug through all the, the registers to find out what the default configs were. Wouldn't work. Um, I've revisited this a couple of times, and so I'm kind of giving up on that approach. It may be useful for something, uh, but not for this project. So I revis revisited the Spark Core, and I found. A, a library which had been uh, kind of set up and tested the same RF24 library. And so this evening I've uh, got these two communicating. Um, the examples out of the box don't work. Um, it's missing a few kind of config parameters, but once you lock those down it works straight away. And so up on the computer here I have uh, two screens. So this is the Arduino over here. And that's the Spark Core. This is just hooked up the serial terminal to the USB port. And this is then sending data over here. It appears there, and this then sends it back, and it confirms the response. And so I've got uh, kind of data transferring between the two devices, which is exactly what I'm after for this. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, kind of get the, the code in the system set up and functioning, because this will form the, uh, the core of of, of whatever system I'm making, actually. Um, I'm not quite sure what form it'll take at the moment, but uh, I like the idea of having a central device with wireless nodes on it, so I'm going to put together really bare-bones uh, circuits um, using the just a kind of bog-standard Atmel device, one of these, um, and possibly kind of sensor inputs. And then that can then all feed data to the central hub, which has got internet connectivity, and can then kind of stream up to an API and maybe kind of consume data and feed out. And so that is the, the kind of going to be the core, or that's the kind of proof of concept for the, the system I'm working on. I mean, in addition to that, as part of the China trip, 
I'm doing in a couple of weeks' time, the, the kind of dangerous prototypes who are organising it, they doing a throwing in a, a single kind of batch of PCBs to go with it. I've been trying to think of what I want to do for that, and I think I'm going to try and put together a really simple um, board to replicate this circuit here. So I could potentially have uh, ten of these running. So I can have a couple of these communicating at the same time, or similar times at least. And so that's um, something I'm going to take a look at, ready for, for that course, to try and get those boards made up. But, but this is something so I've been trying to get working for some time now, two independent systems, communicating wirelessly, and I finally achieved it. One final thing, I've just been taking a look at the um, kind of signal and the range and performance of these. They're 2.4 gig wireless modules, and so they're operating the same kind of uh, frequency range as Bluetooth devices, uh, kind of Wi-Fi devices, all sorts of other stuff. So it's got a lot to contend with. The, these were originally kind of set to the default channel 2, which is how I had them, the kind of code came out. And I found that whilst it did kind of work one room to another, as soon as I kind of started moving these around at odd angles, it, um, it dropped out completely, um, or just became really intermittent. I've got uh, the settings set up to transmit it kind of the mid-range uh, kind of data, so it, uh, it's not trying to ask too much of it. And it still wasn't right, but I've uh, tried another random channel, and I think I got lucky. They're now in a state where these things are transmitting uh, really well. I mean, I've, I've tried kind of, kind of really sealing off and cupping the signal, the, the transmitter, and uh, normally this does a pretty good job at damping out signal, but it's uh, kind of carrying on breaking through. I can do some proper range tests, but uh, I am very optimistic about these.